for this one. Draw the ends to bring it into the Z formation. Bring your upper working end down through the right. Your lower working in under that one and the upper left. I'm going to spread out this crossover section in the middle. Bring your upper working end down through that and under two strands to the lower right. And do the same on the left. Bring the bottom working end through the middle under those two in the upper left. That little pull. There's a bit of a crown knot in the center there. And you draw it off your finger and bring the left and right loops down. Apply some tension here. It'll tighten up the center of the knot, but won't draw the slack from that arch. For that, you have to pull on the two loops. There's a couple of reasons I think this is similar to a Spanish bowline. Both have double loops at the bottom. Both have an arch that feeds the two loops into each other. Now the Spanish bowline is pretty direct. It just cuts across under these two here. You can pull on the outside and easily makes one longer than the other. Pull on the outside, draw it back, and they're even again. Whereas this one, you do have to do a bit of work. You have to pull up on the arch and then feed it into the other loop. Just pulling on the outside of one or the other isn't going to do much. And to get them even again, pull some in there and kind of work it back and forth. And finish off by giving it a tug there. And then you should be back to even. And the other thing is with the Spanish bowline, if you pull in the arc, arch, it's kind of like a quick release. The whole knot just kind of comes undone. I thought maybe this would have something similar. And in fact, when you pull on these two in the middle, it does loosen up pretty quickly. This is one other feature that I noticed if instead of pulling on these two in the center, you go for the top and bottom here, give that a quick pull. Now it becomes another knot with two loops. That reminds me a bit more of an alpine butterfly in the middle there. And instead of feeding from the arch, both loops feed from the working end. So you just pull on the ends, and that will decrease the size of your loops or draw down and increase the size of the loops.